Deep in the vast and unforgiving territory of Wind River, a murder has taken place. One that can only be solved by an expert hunter and an FBI agent. Loosely inspired by true events, Wind River will keep you on the hook and not out in the cold, even though it is frigid up in these mountains. Let's talk about Wind River for a couple minutes on Adam Does Movies. The reason I'm talking about this movie today is because Patreon supporter Isaac over on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies at the mithril level demanded I talk about it. Unlike most of the movie requests I get, I had actually seen Wind River. Granted, it came out in 2017, and I didn't remember a lot of it. So I rewatched it with my wife, thinking this was okay. I remember it being all right. It's actually better than all right. It's a solid flick. I wouldn't go out and recommend it willy-nilly to people, but certain individuals will really dig it. Now, I will say, it is um, a depressing film all around. Since it is inspired by true events that take place on this Indian reservation, a lot of stuff happens to these people and it's not good, specifically younger women. They go missing often. It's the only region in America where they don't keep stats on what happens to these young women, mainly because they don't have the resources. Writer and director Taylor Sheridan does a good job presenting this to the audience, showing them just how dire the situation is for the people up there. They often turn to drug use, selling, and other sketchy things you wouldn't necessarily put on the job resume. Our two leads here are a couple of Avengers, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch. You have every man hero, Jeremy Renner, playing a no-nonsense hunter. He takes down wildlife. That's what he does for a living. He's also been dealing with a divorce and a major loss in his life that will get revealed later on in the film. Joining him is Elizabeth Olsen as Jane Banner. She flew in from Vegas. She's the only FBI agent that was even remotely close and clearly the FBI doesn't prioritize killing that happens on an Indian reserve. This is a whodunit murder mystery. I'm not gonna give away the game because that's half the fun in watching these types of movies is how it plays out who's behind the dirty deeds, done dirt cheap. I will just give you the basic rundown. The movie's shot very well. It's under two hours, which I love, which I think is absolutely great. And even with the hour 45 or whatever, it feels a little padded. There's a couple scenes, mainly around the snowmobile porn, as I'm calling it, where I don't need to see Jeremy Renner driving around, <laughs> turning once in a while. It, it, it was just, it's like, we don't have enough action in this movie. Let's shoot some snowmobile driving around for a while. That'll get him hooked. I didn't need it. The movie has a decent pace, even though it is a slower moving affair. You have likable characters. They have great chemistry together. You have some nice supporting actors coming and going. There is a big factor though that's gonna turn people off and that's the fact that a woman gets raped. That, that's the big takeaway. This woman's raped and left for dead out in the cold. It's sad. I hate watching that crap, even though it's not real they still make it look real. Joining the tight script and solid visuals is a nice compelling score. It's somber as hell like the movie, but it keeps you engaged. I'm a sucker for a good investigatory film. This one nails it. And what makes it a little bit different than its competition is the Indian aspect of it. We get to see some of the culture there. We get to see the impacts of hundreds of years of poor decision making and how it's played out for these people and their culture. I don't consider this an amazing movie by any means, but it is a really solid, easy one-time watch. I've seen it twice. It was, it was actually pretty pleasant the second time as well. There was a few years in between, which helps. But good cinematography, good characters, good story. I mean, you can't ask for much more, right? All right, that's my thoughts on Wind River. Isaac, thank you for the recommendation. It was good to watch this one again, honestly. Now, if you're not a patron supporter at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or right here, you can absolutely become one. It helps me and the channel out immensely. You can just hit that join button on YouTube and pick your tier. If you wanna recommend a movie, become a Mithril member. You can do it for one month even. It's month to month if you want, or you can become a member for a full year and get up to four movie review requests. I would really appreciate it, it helps a ton. Thanks again, Isaac and all supporters. Please like the video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and somehow stumbled upon a Wind River review in 2023. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Stay warm.